Welcome to PCR Online. My name is Christoph Naber. I'm from Essen, Germany, and I'm discussing today about a stroke in Atavi procedures. And I'm discussing with Corrado Tamborino from Sicily and discussing with Axel Linke from Leipzig. So, Corrado, Tavi has become a routine procedure. Side effects and all these uh, negative clinical effects have become less. What is the importance of stroke today? The importance of stroke as a clinical event is uh, uh, small because we know that we have only 2 to 3% uh, of a clinically evident events. But if we move to diagnostic tools, the number of events that uh, affect the brain is almost 100%, which is the importance of this event is uh, uh, to be determined because we know that MRI has shown that there is per procedure a number of hits that uh, affects the brain but uh, we have to assess and there are some studies and uh, Axel is running one of these studies assessing the importance of uh, uh, this event affecting the brain. Another point is the time of the uh, brain uh, uh, accidents because we know that we have during the procedure some events and after during the long term mid-term and long-term follow-up also this is due to different causes and reasons yeah, thank you corrado um axel um what did you find and what is the importance uh, of protecting uh, uh, against stroke during the procedures and what can we do and how often do we need to do it and what are the patients that we need to select to your first question, there are a couple of devices available. We tested one during the intervention to uh, reduce the number of uh, and volume of cerebral lesions. And basically what we were able to identify is that by using the cerebral protection device during the intervention, we were able to reduce the number and volume of lesions by 50%. What does it mean clinically? I can't tell you right now because the study was just not powered to assess the effects. There's a bigger one coming with the results most likely being presented by the end of the year. Again, the primary outcome is uh, the volume of the lesions between the groups. But I think this study at least has a size to send some differences in the clinical outcome. Who to protect? This is a very interesting question because we don't know if there's a device effect right now, how much baseline characteristics affect the stroke rate in general. Unless we don't know, it's our feeling as a physician who is at a high risk of stroke, like patients with heavily calcified valves, patients with autoromas in the aorta, patients being treated with uh, big devices. But this is just a gut feeling. No clinical data available so far. We need more studies. So we have to wait. Thank you very much, yeah. Axel. And there so is a, another comment, sorry. Uh, should we protect all the patients undergoing a, a surgical procedure, as well as uh, coronary interventions? Who knows? I agree, so these something. are other fields. But Corrado, they are also after the procedure, stroke uh, yeah, is happening in the patients. So do we know where it comes from and do we know what we need, can do against it? Yeah, I would say that the most of the case of uh, late events are related to arrhythmias, mainly atrial fibrillation. We know that there are many studies reporting episodes of, of different duration of uh, AF, paroxysm of AF. And uh, this is a very important because the consequence is uh, the therapeutic prevention of this uh, kind of events. So thromboembolism related to the atrial fibrillation could be prevented by anticoagulation. There are some studies ongoing that uh, assess the utility of some different old and new anticoagulants in preventing the stroke after the TAVIS is performed. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, th thanks to both of you. I think uh, this was a very important discussion on an important topic. So we learned that the, the number of stroke in the patients is really not much, but we have a lot of emb emboli going to the brain during the procedure. And uh, we learned that we have some effective measures against this emboli, but we need to understand if we really clinically cause an effect with this protection during the procedure. And uh, studies for this are on the way. We know, we, are, we know also, and we just learned from Corrado, that uh, atrial fibrillation plays a big role in stroke after after Tavi, but uh, we don't know yet uh, what is the optimal medication and uh, also this we need to learn. So thank you very much. I think this was a very interesting discussion. Thank, thank you. you.